Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, it's a short video which is going to basically show the procedure of taking a character from the Mixamo website, which is a wonderful free resource of characters and animations provided by Adobe, and getting these characters uh, with the correct textures, colors, and animations to work inside Unity, as you can see on the screen here. For this video, I'm making one big assumption, and that is that you have installed Unity and you're able to create a new project and open the IDE on the screen as I have here. The only thing is you won't have the character or the, the blue yet in there, but that's to, to come in the video. But please make sure you can at least do that, otherwise the video is going to be a little bit confusing. Otherwise it's aimed for beginners, and without further ado, we can, uh, we can crack on. So I'm starting from a blank Unity 3D project. I'm in the scene view here. I've got my hierarchy on the left. Uh, scene, game, animator, and animation here. You probably have it set up how you prefer, just so we know everything is for later. Uh, in the hierarchy, I'm just to right click. Uh, I'm going to go to 3D object and plane to put a plane there. Uh, double click on it so we zoom out a bit. And just right click and reset the transform so it's in the middle of the scene in case it isn't for you. And then I'm going to change the dimensions up on the right hand side in transform here. So just put X is 10, leave Y is 1 and Z is 6. Again, double click on the plane on the left hand side in the hierarchy so we can see a little bit more. What we do want on this plane, it's rather disgustingly white, so we're going to at least change the color of it. So to do that, down the bottom here in project, I'm going to right click on assets, create a new folder and call that materials. Double click on the materials folder and then right click in here and do create material and I'll just call this plane P-L-A-N-E. Now what I want to do with the plane here is just change the color. So selecting the plane, going into the inspector up here, we've got the uh, color map. I'm going to swing this around to something lightish blue and make a color here in the middle. So we've got a half decent blue color and then just drag and drop this plane all the way onto the plane in the hierarchy and we've got something slightly blue. I'm actually going to make that it's so slightly darker, like so. Okay, so we have something now for our character to walk on. The next character is, uh, the next job is to get the character. So to do that, we go to mixamo.com. Now to get in, you'll need a, an Adobe account. So if you haven't got one, then please set one up and log in. And when you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks something like the one I have here. The whole thing revolves around two main tabs at the top. One is called characters, one is called animations. And the first thing we want is a character. So in the search box here, I'm going to type boss, B-O-S-S. And you can see we've got one character called the boss. I'm going to give him a click. And he's standing there in what's known as a T pose. If he's animated or doing something else, you've probably got a window open on the right hand side underneath the search or find animations. There'll be a little cross. You can click to close that off and he should revert back to the T pose. And what we want to do is download this so we can use this model in our scene. So I'm going to click the orange download button on the top right hand side and I get a couple of options here. I want to make sure I've got FBX for Unity selected and I've got T-Pose selected and then download. This will ask me to save the file somewhere. It's called the boss.fpx. That will do. I'll click save. Just need to remember where it is. And now we can go and get our animation. So I'm going to click the animations tab at the top and then in the search box I'm going to type walking. Hit enter and I kind of like this walk. There's lots that you can use. Um, I'm going to use this one here, which I think is called a, a walking with a swagger. Just click on that. You can see that our boss is now walking with a swagger. Now critical here is on the right hand side, there's an option here, checkbox called in place. I want to tick that because later on in the video after this one, we're going to move the boss and I want to control his movement rather than the animation, certainly the speed. So I'm going to click in place, in place and just say I want you to animate in the same place. With that selected, I'm going to top right, click the orange download button again, select without skin, FPX for Unity, 30 frames a second, no keyframe reduction, click download. And now we've got another file to save. And you'll notice the name is now the boss and there's an at walking. So for the animations, you always get the name of the character, then an at symbol and the walking. So we'll save that. And that's now downloaded and we can return to Unity. So back in Unity, we want to take our downloaded model and animation and import them into our project. So to do that, I've just opened the folder where uh, my files are, clicked, selected them both, and I'm going to drag and drop them onto the assets folder. In fact, first I'm going to select the assets folder so you can see my scenes and materials. And now I'm going to drag and drop both of them into there. 
that's all we need to do. We have got our boss model and our boss animation. And now, excitedly, you drag your model onto the scene. Uh, you can see in the hierarchy on the top left he's appeared. I'm just going to double click on him so we zoom in on him. And you can see that he looks a little bit grey and wrong. And these are the things we need to fix. So the first thing to do then is to select down the bottom here the boss model. And in the inspector on the right hand side you can see we get lots of options and we also get a little preview screen down the bottom right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to rig and turn this into a humanoid rig. And for this to work properly it needs something called an avatar. Now you can read about this in the Unity documentation but an avatar is essentially a representation of all the joints and parts in an animation and how they move. So we need to create an avatar for our animation to work. So we're going to create it from this model we've downloaded and I'm going to click apply. And what this has done, this is created down the bottom here. If I click on this little arrow and scroll down a bit, we have an avatar created which can be used for our animation. The good thing is you don't really need to worry about configuring this or doing anything with it at all. I'm going to click back on the boss so I get the options up. The other thing I want to do is sort out the materials because, you know, he's a little bit grey. So going to materials, we need to extract the texture and the materials. So in the top right here you can see the two options. One is extract textures and one is extract materials. We're going to do the same procedure for both. We're going to click on extract textures. It's going to open our assets folder. I'm going to double click and select the materials folder and then click select folder. And it might throw a, a warning up to you for you to fix something. Just to fix anything that comes up. I've clicked fix now. And now on the right hand side again I'm going to do the same for materials. So extract materials, select the materials folder and let the materials for the boss be extracted in there. And you can see already on the screen where our boss is that he's now fully textured and looking pretty good. Okay, so now we've done that, the next job is to get him animated. So down the bottom I'm going to select the walking animation, the boss at walking, and then on rig, on the top right here, change the animation type to humanoid, and change the avatar definition to copy another av avatar. And then click on this little circle and double click on the boss avatar. And last but not least, click apply. And now the avatar that we created for our boss model has been applied to this animation. So the animation knows uh, what avatar to use and how to move. I'm going to click on the animation tab here and then scroll down a little bit and just select loop time because we want this animation to loop continuously. Otherwise he just walks a step and stops. And now down the bottom here in the preview, if I hit play, you can see that the character is now animated. So how do we get him actually to animate? Well, if I click on the boss in the hierarchy, I forgot to, oh, that's a good point actually. One tiny thing I forgot to do, if I just scroll down a little bit more, I need to hit apply here to apply the changes uh, to the animations. Good of Unity to remind me. So I'll go and click on the boss in the top left hand side of the hierarchy here. And you'll see that in the inspector on the right, he has a space for an animator controller. And he needs an animator controller so we can assign and control animations on him. So let's create our animation controller. In the assets down the bottom here, I'm going to right click, create animator controller. And here I'm going to call it the boss controller. Actually, I'm going to call him boss anim. We can double click on that animator controller to open up the animator controller itself. And I want to drag and drop the walking animation into the animator controller. And that's all we need to do to have that ready to animate the boss. So let's go back to the boss on the left hand side here in the hierarchy. And now we're going to drag and drop our animator controller onto the boss himself there. And now he's using our animator controller. There's one last thing I'd like to do and I'd like to uncheck the apply root motion box. And the reason I want to do that is because there are slight changes in the height or the Y position of the boss in this animation. And when you don't remove that every time it'll apply the, the, the root change and he'll start effectively going upwards the entire time. So back into the scene view then, nothing has changed. I want to just zoom out slightly and go into a better position to see the animation. But when we play now, what should happen is our boss, if I've done everything correctly, should start walking. I'm going to select the main camera and just do game object and align with view. So the game camera has exactly the same view. 
go to game and press play. And there you can see we've got our boss character animated and nicely walking. So that's it then for this video. I hope that's uh, helped you. I know when I started with Mixamo, I had a couple of issues starting with that and with Unity, not really knowing what I was doing and getting it working. Uh, it's quite a simple process. You just have to remember. Um, I'm going to do a follow on video from this one where we get the character actually to walk to places that we click on the plane uh, with the mouse. But that's it for this one. Thanks very, very much for taking the time to watch and see you in another video.